everyone, so today I'm going to show you what each attachment does with the Dyson Airwrap. So um, I'm a Dyson stylist, you can find me in John Lewis Norwich on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So if you need any help or want to learn a little bit more, come in and see me. This is your Dyson Airwrap. With your Airwrap you can create so many different hairstyles. So if you want to wear your hair curly, you can have it curly, you can straighten, you can wave. Everything that you need to do basically to style your hair. First of all, you have your 30mm barrels. With these barrels, these are the tighter curls. So with the tighter curls, they're going to be more of that ringlet effect, but you can brush this out afterwards if you want to make it more of a smoother wave. So I'll show you this one first. What you have to do with the air wrap is make sure that your hair is 90% dry, so you do need a little bit of moisture. As you can tell, my hair was put in a bun last night and left, so it's a perfect opportunity to show you how incredible this product is. So, a little bit of moisture. So water spray is perfect. Or you can use your drying attachment, which we'll come on to a little bit later. Um, you can use that to get your hair 90% dry if you've washed it first. Or if you have a Dyson hair dryer, even better. So let's take our section. So what I'd say is, first of all, if you haven't used an air wrap before, make sure you take a smallish section just so you know what you're doing. So if I hold that next to my face, you can see that arrow is going that way, so that's the way that curl will go. So you get two barrels in each set. So turn it up. So full heat and full speed. Turn it on. Bring that section out. Then bring that in. Leave it to heat for about five to ten seconds. What that's going to do is finish off the drying process and make sure that curl sets. Then we're going to press up and it's going to cool it all down so it's going to set the hair. Once you've done this, turn it off, bring that out and you've got your curl. Any little sections that you want to go over afterwards you can. So just like this little section here. And then you can just blend. So that is how you do your curls. As you can see, they're very beautiful curls, very glossy. Doesn't cause any heat damage at all. So you're going to be protecting your hair at the same time, which is fabulous. So this is our pre-drying tool. So I showed you this a minute ago. What this will do is get your hair dried. So it's 80% the power of a supersonic hair dryer. So I do recommend a supersonic hair dryer as well. Um, please check out my other videos to learn a little bit more about the supersonic hair dryer. Um, but yeah, with the pre-drying tool, we use that first to get our hair 50 to 90% dry, all depending on which attachment we use. So with our attachments, going into other ones, um, you have your firm and soft smoothing brushes. This is the soft smoothing brush. What this will do is get your hair straight and smooth. Um, but what we can do is we can use that one from 50% wet, whereas the other attachments are all 90% dry. So it's a little bit different, but yeah, you've got to get your hair at least 50 to 90% dry. So make sure you use your pre-drying tool. With this, it has higher air pressure than a normal hair dryer and that no heat damage element. So if you have quite fine hair, this is gonna be perfect. With that thicker hair, I would say definitely supersonic will come in handy as well. This is your 40 millimeter barrel. So this one is slightly thicker. What this means is you're gonna get more of a bigger curl. On shorter hair, it'll be more of a wave. On a very short hair, it'll be more of a bevel. So it'll give you that nice root lift and volume, which is really good. Because normally when you use a tongue, things like that, they're very hot. They can cause heat damage. And also if you're getting very close to the root, you've got to be careful of your scalp. With this, you don't have to worry at all because it's always below 150 degrees. So it's always gonna be protecting your hair and your scalp. And you can cool it down if you ever feel like it's too warm. So you've got your different heat and speed settings so this is your speed you can decrease your airflow and you can also decrease your heat so you can make it comfortable for you um, I personally have it on high heat high speed I get the best results from that but definitely go with however you're comfortable so you've got that chance to adjust it to how you want to I will show you the bigger bow just so you can see the slight difference so same again make sure you've got 90% dry hair so I put a little bit of moisture through my hair already 
make sure you turn it on, bring it towards, bring it out to the end, bring that back in, leave that to heat for about 5 to 10 seconds again, then press up and it's going to cool it all down, same again 10 seconds. Once you've done that, turn that off, bring that out. And as you can see, it's a slightly softer curl wave. So you can brush them through again if you want to, completely up to you, but I'm just demonstrating little sections today. So, yeah. <laughs> so these are your smoothing attachments. They work exactly the same way. This one is better for thicker hair, or if you want to get more tension on the hair, I recommend this one. Or you've got your soft smoothing brush, which is for finer hair. And if you just want to brush your curls out, this is brilliant too. So I'm going to show you with this one, just because my hair is a little bit finer in texture. So when I can find the water spray, dumping it down. You can use this one on 50 to 90% dry hair, so it's completely up to you what you feel comfortable with. So I put quite a bit of moisture through my hair. What we're going to do is turn it on full heat and full speed and just brush. Once you can feel that hair is completely dry, we're going to bring it down to cool and low speed. It's just going to set the hair afterwards. So really easy, really quick. Don't have to use hair straighteners, but you're going to have really shiny, healthy hair. Just like mine. <laughs> so yeah, um, as you can see from this side, you can see that difference, even though I put a couple of curls in. Yeah, massive difference. So yeah, um, that works in a beautiful way of keeping your hair healthy, but straight if you want it straight. Also, it's really good if you just want to smooth the roots out and then you want to curl the ends. You've got that option and then possibilities to create so many different hairstyles. Um, we've got one more attachment left, which is your barrel. So I'm going to show you that one. So our final attachment is actually the round brush. I know it said barrel, I didn't mean that, I meant round brush. So with our round brush, this is brilliant for fringe areas, also getting height at the back. So this doesn't have the coanda effect where it automatically wraps it around, so you do have to use this manually. Um, but it's really, really easy. Um, it gives you that root lift and volume that you need. Um, it's good for shorter hair or even longer hair. You can create that curl with it, just takes slightly longer, so it depends if you want more of a natural look. Um, I would say if you're going to do curling, just use your bigger barrels, but if you have a little bit more time, you can experiment and practice. Um, with the bigger barrel as well, I would say that if you have shorter hair with lots of layers, you can create that nice barreled flicked look as well. So have a little experiment. Um, you can always come in and see me and I'll show you different techniques depending on your hair type because it does vary for everyone. So do come and see me at John Lewis Norwich. So they were all the attachments for the Dyson Airwrap Complete Kit. Um, if you need any help with knowing how to use the attachments on anything at all to do with the Dyson Airwrap or Supersonic, please come into John Lewis Norwich um, and I will help you out and teach you how to use everything. I'm there on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Sometimes I'm on holiday, but you know have to have holiday sometimes but yeah please feel free to come in and see me or message me on my Dyson account on Instagram which is Lydia Dyson hair thank you for watching <laughs>